maybe I'm a lot like you. I'm interested in providing my family with food that will make them strong and healthy. I believe that one key to healthy eating is fresh produce, especially homegrown produce. I want to have fun growing tomatoes and eating them during the summer. Uh, maybe you've grown tomato plants before, but never with great success. Well, it's probably because of one of these four reasons. You don't know the steps and secrets of growing highly productive tomato plants. You're not sure how to deal with tomato pests and diseases that kill the plant or rob it of its produce. Or you're weary of putting in the hard work and not knowing if a good return will come from your labor and realizing later what you could have done to improve the harvest significantly. Or maybe you're just ending up with deformed tomatoes, blossom in rot, or black spots on the tomatoes. What we really want is to once and for all be confident in growing tomatoes. To plant, grow, and produce tomatoes you can be proud of. And we want to enjoy delicious tomatoes all summer long and experience the joy of cultivating a garden that produces two, three, or five times as many tomatoes than ever before and give the extra to friends and neighbors. Well, I grew up eating homegrown tomatoes and vegetables from my dad's garden. Every summer, my dad's half-acre garden produced lots of juicy, ripe tomatoes and so many that I usually ate an entire plate of sliced tomatoes every day. Makes my mouth water just remembering those days. Anyway, after I married and started my family, it dawned on me that I should grow my own tomatoes because the ones you buy at the store just don't taste great. So, I got a plant, put it in the ground, and watered it. It grew some, but then the weather got hot, and it nearly died. Needless to say, I didn't know what I was doing, and I couldn't remember the steps my dad used to get such great producing tomato plants year in and year out. I remembered how things went every summer growing up. How people began calling or visiting us to see how the tomatoes were coming and if they could stop by and pick some. Some of them asked my dad how he grew tomatoes and he always gave them some tips. So I decided to get some real advice. I called my dad and asked him to show me exactly how he grows tomatoes and gets such great results every year. We sat down one weekend and he outlined for me his eight steps to juicy homegrown tomatoes. Now as a boy I watched my dad cultivate his garden and he even helped me with a small garden of my own then. But I never knew his eight steps until that weekend. My dad's much older now but he still plants and harvests tomatoes every year just like he did when I was a boy. And he was happy to share his gardening secrets with me. The next season I took his eight steps and put them to the test from start to finish and the results were truly great. Not only did I have fun doing it because I knew I would get good results, I also learned why these eight steps work. I selected and planted my tomato plants in the spring. One was an heirloom to variety. The plants grew, bloomed, and began producing ripe red tomatoes in July. The tomato hornworm and other pests attacked my plants, but I learned how to spot and eliminate them before they had a chance to do much damage. Then in August it got really hot and the heat threatened some of my plants, but I learned how to water my plants so they continued to pr produce even in the hottest weeks of the year. My plants kept producing into October because I learned how to extend the growing season. My wife and I enjoyed BLT sandwiches, fresh salads, and even fried green tomatoes during the summer and into the fall. There is no comparison to the prior year when I tried growing tomatoes without my dad's advice. It was so cool to finally know how it works. So I shared the steps with a few friends of mine and people I've gotten to know and it's amazing how happy they've been with the results of their tomato gardens. They were able to get off to a great start, learn how to deal with pests and diseases effectively, and just got better results. So, when I saw that this process worked not only for me, but for some of my friends as well, I decided that maybe I should share this with some more people. Because I know what it's like to run into problems like 
growing a gorgeous healthy green tomato plant that ends up with no blossoms and therefore no tomatoes or tomato plants that start flowering but the flowers don't develop into to tomatoes or just not being sure how or when to water particularly during a drought so this is what I'm going to do I'm going to share these eight steps with a few more people who want to get more and better tomatoes from their own garden in the next video I'll introduce you to my dad and he will walk you through the steps that he shared with me so if you haven't done it already give me the best email address and I'll send you the video of my dad outlining the eight steps to juicy homegrown tomatoes when it's ready in a few days if you're watching this on a site other than growtomatoestoday.com you can go there to get the video or you can email me tom at growtomatoestoday.com see you soon